What is going on ladies and gentlemen, this will be the start of my new tutorial series. In this series, we will begin building an API using Spring Boot and Kotlin. We will use Postgres to store the data. And then we're going to create a client using Next.js to show the data that we created in our API. So we're going to Dockerize, uh, or we're going to use Docker to create or to use uh, Postgres. So we don't have to download it locally, we can just use Docker to, um, you know, create our container um, to store the information and then uh, we're gonna have you know everything interacting with each other so I hope you guys enjoy uh, the main requirement really is just gonna be you know having Java some type of editor uh, for each you know application so for the API um, Spring Boot I recommend IntelliJ I'm using the community edition um, and then for the next JS portion um, I recommend uh, Visual Studio Code, but you can use any editor that you want. Those are just going to be the two, two that I use myself for this tutorial series. We're going to start off with the API, and then we're going to go on to do um, the UI after. So I'm going to split it up like that, the API, and then I'm going to do the UI. And then uh, we're going to create the Postgres um, database using Docker relatively soon. Um, but let's actually start the setup of everything. So the first thing we got to do is head over to this start.spring.io. This is going to bring you to the Spring Initializer, and this is what we're going to use to create our Spring application. So this is essentially a template that you know Spring initialized for us uh, to start up uh, the application process. We can uh, define what project we're going to use. So we're going to use Maven to control our dependencies, um, and then we can choose what language we're going to do. So I'm going to choose Kotlin here. I'm going to leave the you know Spring Boot version to the default of three. And then we can start defining some of the metadata uh, for our application. So, you know, there's you know different meta metadata that we can define. We can have you know a group that defines the package name. We can have artifact that pretty much goes over the application name. And um, the, the default group name is going to be com.example, which we're going to change. Um, and the default artifact is going to be demo, but we're going to change that as well. Um, in this second section right here is dependencies. These are, as the name implies, dependencies that the application, um, you know, will need um, to run the application the way that you want it to. The two things that we're going to need is Postgres, um, because we're going to use Postgres to store our information. Uh, so we're going to need the Postgres driver, and we're going to need Spring Web, because we're making an API. So Spring Web def brings, so Spring Web defines tools that you can use um, to make the API experience much easier. So let's change some of this information. So I'm just going to do com dot to do, right? And I'm just going to change the artifact name to to do. And as you can see, all of these are pretty much attached to each other. So like I said, it's pretty much going to be the application name. So artifact name, and then it's going to attach um, the name to the end of uh, the package name that we defined. So group plus the application name at the end. And this is just going to be a which is a racist description to do application. It's going to be a relatively simple to do application. Um, what we're going to do is allow the user to be able to, you know, put in a title description of what needs to be done um, and whether or not it is finished or not. But I feel like this is a great, a great application to learn how everything interact with each other, how you can funnel the data into a database, retrieve that information, uh, display it, update the information all in one go while using technologies that are used in big corporations. Um, so yeah, uh, so the packaging is going to be a jar file and I'm just going to use Java version 17. Now let's start adding to the dependencies. So I said we're going to use Postgres so we can add a Postgres driver. This is going to allow us to connect um, our program to a Postgres database. Uh, all we got to do is define things such as the, you know, the post, the, um, the table type, uh, the password of the, the uh, database and stuff like that, which we'll go over um, in a couple of minutes. So let's add that Postgres driver. That's one of the dependencies we're gonna need. And then the dependency we're gonna need is Spring Web. And this is gonna, like it says right here, is useful for building RESTful applications. Um, so it's gonna automatically, um, you know, embed a, a Tomcat um, server into our application, so we can run our API and we can, you know, build. Um, you know the model view controller or that's what spring MVC means but in our case we can define endpoints we can define 
um, you know, models and stuff like that. Spring has toolings internally specifically for that. So this is what Spring Web is important for to create a REST API. And that's really all we need right now. But um, like we already defined, if we need any more dependencies, we can add it using Maven, which I'll show after I finish generating this and opening it up. So let's, so now that we have everything that we need, we define the metadata, we define the project type, the language, um, and the dependencies, we can just press generate and you will see an application gets generated. In this case, it's gonna be a to-do.zip. You just open up the zip, um, the zip, and then it'll you know give you a folder with all the information for the Spring application. But now I'm gonna use IntelliJ to open this up and we can get started. All right, so just to give a taste on what to expect by the end of this tutorial series, um, we should expect to be able to you know create a UI using Next.js that will leverage our API uh, to add in some items into our database, our Postgres database. Um, right here we have a search bar that gives you know that we can search by using a, a name but currently we don't have anything inside of our database uh, so what we can do is press this button uh, we give it a title of demo and we can put a description of the test we can add the information you'll see that you know what we just added will be seen by default it's going to be shown as incomplete but what we when we do complete it we can press the complete button and it should update automatically showing that it's complete crossing out the information if we want to undo it because we did it by mistake, we can do that as well. Um, if we want to update, we could do that too. So we can update the description, we can update the title, demo to show, and then we can update that. You'll see that there's a little, you know, update to the title. Um, we can also complete that, and if we want to remove it, we could remove it. But let me not remove it just yet. I'm gonna add one more thing, um, and then I'm just gonna put updates, not update up, but edit video and um, let's put video to edit for YouTube add that it will appear first it will show the time that it was added um, and we can even search on specific things that we want to see um, so if we just want to look for edit we could like I just showed or we could just show demo um, and if we're done with it we could press complete and if you just don't want to see it anymore you could delete it so by the end of this tutorial you'll be able to do the basic HTTP methods edit or put um, delete get and post and you'll be able to search using a search bar but I feel like this is very important to know um, and then you can expand on this and, and I actually intend on expanding on it um, hopefully in the future I will add some authentication to it you know a person will be able to log in and um, it'll be unique to the specific person but I want to take baby steps right so I want to you know do the basic methods show how to create a UI show how to get everything connected and then later on expand on it so um, hope you guys follow through to the series and I hope you guys enjoy and if you have any questions leave it in the comment section